watching Sitco Kentucky Derby Week coverage on ESPN2. Welcome to Breakfast at Churchill Downs, where today one of the great American sporting traditions will be writing its 130th chapter. Every year, uh, the people around the horse industry are always looking to make it a little better, a little safer for their precious animals. Janine Edwards takes a look at some of the advancements. In the ongoing quest to provide horses of all disciplines superlative health care, the Marion DuPont Scott Equine Medical Center, part of Virginia Tech, is a leader in state-of-the-art diagnostic resources thanks to exciting new technology. The center's standing MRI unit is the only one of its kind in the eastern United States and one of only two in this country. It is changing the way diagnostic imaging is performed. This new MRI unit is an open magnet and that means that you can take the magnet in around the horse's leg. It doesn't have to be anesthetized, doesn't have to be under general anesthesia. This is a great advantage because we can simply walk the horse in and move the magnet to the horse rather than having to take the horse to the magnet. The unit's ability to detect inflammation, infection, and excess fluids, which cannot be seen with radiographs or ultrasound, will offer horse owners advanced diagnostic capabilities in the quickest, least stressful manner available. I think that we will be diagnosing things we haven't been able to diagnose before. The problem will be is that because we haven't done that, now we're going to have to develop new treatments, literally, to be able to take care of these problems, which we know are there, but until now, we haven't been able to see them or locate them specifically. Thanks in part to private support from the equine community, the Marion DuPont Scott Equine Medical Center is exceeding its goal to provide education, research, and exemplary equine health care with its internationally acclaimed staff and state-of-the-art technology. It's important to remember that despite their size and power, these thoroughbreds can be very fragile athletes.